football is tomorrow. The Chiefs are taking on the 49ers in Las Vegas in this year's Super Bowl. And with the rise in popularity of sports betting, this year is expected to set gambling records. As KETV News Watch 7's Devon Taylor reports, more than 68 million people are expected to place a wager. Sports betting, it's growing in popularity, but if you're not careful, it could leave a hole in your wallet. Ask yourself this question. If I lose this money, am I going to be okay? With the Super Bowl less than a day away, many people are starting to download apps like FanDuel and DraftKings to bet on the big game. Betting, legal sports betting has uh, proliferated so much over the last five years. We're now up to 39 states that have legal sports betting in the U.S., and that's the most we've ever had. So based on that alone, we should have the, the highest number of people that are betting on the Super Bowl this year. The American Gaming Association says nearly 68 million Americans are expected to bet on the Super Bowl this year, a 35% increase from last year. All indications are the Super Bowl betting this year is going to set records, particularly for legal sports betting. Uh, illegal sports betting has been going on for decades, and uh, we may end up setting a record there as well as illegal betting can continues to be robust. But with these betting apps, there may be people out there who aren't playing the game fairly. Sports betting and betting in general in the U.S. is highly regulated. So if you're seeing really strange prop bets like how long uh, will the relationship between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey last? That's probably not on a legal sports book. Experts say to avoid sports betting scams, stick to a brand name you know. Devon Taylor, KETV Newswatch 7.